In exactly 23 minutes, we go on location to see a burning building topple upon a Hollywood actor. You ask for it. Television's greatest all-time request show. Brought to you from the four corners of the world by Skippy, America's largest selling peanut butter. If you like peanuts, you'll like Skippy. And here's your host, Art Baker. Welcome, my friends, to our television soundstage. This complicated equipment is used to control the tremendous power and danger of high-voltage electricity. Now, in the hands of experts, this powerful voltage can be directed to perform in an astounding manner. Paul A. Doyle lives in San Diego, California, wrote this. He said, about two or three years ago, you had some representatives from the Moody Institute of Science demonstrate the effects of a million volts of electricity. I've never stopped talking about this to my friends, so could I see it again, please? Mr. Doyle, yours is just one of many requests urging us to repeat this breathtaking demonstration. I want to introduce to you now Mr. Keith Hargett of the Moody Institute of Science. Mr. Hargett, of course, you have an objective now in putting on these demonstrations. What is it? Uh, Mr. Baker, the demonstration you're about to witness is just one of many designed to inspire faith in God in this scientific age. Mm -hmm. Where do you put on these demonstrations? Mm, quite a variety of places. University campuses, Air Force bases, city auditoriums, and even churches across the nation. I see. Now, of course, the Moody Institute of Science is part of the great uh, Moody Bible Institute, right? That's right. I wish we had time to show you the way in which we use this equipment to demonstrate the harmony that exists between science and religion. But since we don't, I wonder if you would permit me to show you the demonstration Mr. Doyle requested. One million volts of high-frequency electricity. Mm. I uh, recommend that you stand at a safety distance. Right. Ready? Ready. Ready here. Main power on. Dial 10. Safety switch on. In luck. seen a, a million volts of electricity. That's a tremendous power. But as I recall, <clears throat> you yourself stand right on the top of this big uh, coil here, right? Yes, and in my bare feet. It's essential that I be in direct contact with the top of this transformer. If I were to leave my shoes on, my feet would be burned to a crisp. Mm. Would you kindly hold my watch for me, please? Any metal on my person could very well result in some severe RF burns. Mm. This two before is for the benefit of the skeptics. Some people say a million volts, but no amperes. That's not the entire problem. You see, it's a question of amps times volts. The main power transformer draws about 30 amps at 220 volts. Now, that's just an excess of 6,000 watts. With the exception of the hysteresis losses in the two transformers, all of that power will go through my body. And so, for the benefit of the skeptic, I'm going to hold this two before above my head and permit all of that energy to go through my body and ignite the board in my hand. Would you mm. kindly hold this board for me, please, sir? Yes, sir. While I'm out the coil.
down, Mr. Hargis. I'm quite sure there are no skeptics that watched you there with that terrific force through your body. In fact, you've been able to remove skepticism quite often. This, like your, your sermons in science, is very, very convincing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And we're very grateful to the Moody Institute of Science for pausing in their busy schedule to once more electrify us with a sight of one million volts. You asked for it. Thank you.